It's a magazine! Ed's been holding out on us! Chicks galore, huh? <laughs> I didn't even know they had magazines like that. This is where the fun begins. Like, what the f is even that? What is even that? What even is that? What is even that? This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. Goodbye, friend. Happy trails. You're welcome. He's on the other side now. Oh my God! Yes, lads, you, you've you've read the title. Today, today is that day. Today is that day. Yes, lads, today is gonna be a motherfucking cheeky ass day. Hello there. As you can see in our team, there is the man. Yes, lads, because EA is taking up Prime Icon SBCs, it's taken me all the way to what, what month are we in? July, right? <laughs> I wasn't too sure for a second. But it's taken me all the way to July to get this Prime Bootra. Whereas last year, it didn't take me that long at all. I got him pretty much, I think, the day that his Prime Icon... Prime, blah, 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 blah. I pretty much got him on the day that he was released, uh, his Prime Icon, uh, in into the SBCs. I, I literally got him on that day, and I don't know what when that was. But basically, I got him really early last year, and yeah, it's taken us this long this year because EA didn't do Prime Icon SBCs for some reason and did Icon Swaps instead. Which I do like Icon, and, uh, icon Swaps. Like, don't get me wrong icon swaps is a cool idea and i do like it but why can't we have icon swaps and icon sbcs no but enough moaning from me lads we have finally got him he is finally in the team he is a, a, just an incredible upgrade on the baby version that i've been using literally since i got him and I, i've took him out of the team a few times but more or less i've i've pretty much used him the whole year so as you guys can see i've played a lot of games with this baby butra all right 1500 games with this baby butra uh, 830 goals and 780 assists so you guys will probably look at that record and think that's actually kind of shit uh, why do i like butra so much but you have to Bear in mind, uh, number one, the amount of rage quits I go through. Uh, it's a lot of rage quits, which cancels out the goals, if that makes sense. Like, if you if you quit, the goals don't count that you score. It's also worth mentioning that this baby Boutra was has been way outdated for, for a long time. The fact that he even was doing decently uh, is actually quite good. And obviously, the assists as well. That, that's, that is a lot of assists. So, he's always he's always contributing. I think it's an even contribution rate. Anyway, that's I just thought I'd show you that record uh, as we move on to... The the Prime Bootra is pretty much an endgame card, lads. There's really not too many areas that he's he's bad in. He has got phenomenal stats in literally every area. Oh, that is dirty. So let's dive into those stats, lads. First things first, free star skill moves. I don't do skills, so it doesn't bother me, but obviously it will bother some of you guys that do do skill moves. Five star weak foot, one of my favorite things about this Bootra, uh, you know, especially last year. Last year, this was literally my favorite card, uh, this Prime Bootra, and the five star weak foot is a, a massive reason for that. As for the pace, lads, we've got a plus four pace upgrade from the baby version, so quite a decent little pace upgrade i'd probably say the shooting upgrade is the biggest upgrade here you got five no not five four more finishing sorry uh, and five more long shots a pretty decent shooting upgrade there which is very nice and i mean 95 finishing is is absolutely disgusting 85 long shots is very good as well that's a 10 Dribbling stats on this card are pretty insane. Okay, 93 in-game dribbling, decent composure there, 91 agility, and, and also bear in mind the fact that this card is 5 foot 6. He feels unreal on the ball. And then physically, this is probably the worst part of the card. Uh, his strength isn't the best, but again, he's like 5 foot 6. Uh, what are you expecting? The stamina isn't terrible, but, you know, it's not... It's not perfect by any means. 84 stamina is just sort of average. It's okay. As for traits, lads, we have finesse shot trait, which again is a fantastic trait. Uh, it's a really, really useful one. Obviously, you know, finesse shots are, are pretty broken in this game. So, yeah. Yeah, finesse shot trait is very nice. I've also just realized I don't think I've shown you this team, have I? I don't think you guys have actually seen this team. I'm pretty sure the last time you saw this team, I had Allison and Van Dyke and, and Zanetti, right? That was the last time I showed you this team. Yeah, as you can see, uh, I did change it up a little bit. We did get this uh, this Summer Heat Malang Sar because I just thought he. He looks really good. He's got a like massive pace upgrade on Van Dyke. So I, and he's got 97 strength as well. So I just thought, you know, he's probably going to be better than Van Dyke. Plus, Carver Howe is also a massive upgrade on Zanetti. Uh, he, he just has a ridiculous right back card there. So I just thought, he just thought it just made sense, you know. It made sense to do that. But to be fair, I feel like I'm done with this team, lads. I, I literally don't feel like I can improve it. 
There's really no areas that I want to improve here. We've got King Kubo, we've got Prime Butcher, we've got Griezmann, Renato Sanchez, bald headed legend, Cyprien, Varan Tot. Like, I, I feel like I'm done with this team, you know? I have thought about this for a little while, lads. You know, while I was saving up for that Butcher, I was literally thinking, like, how am I going to improve this team once I get Prime Butcher? Because I literally, there's just no areas that I want to improve. It got me thinking, lads, all right? And I think you guys might like this idea. I think I'm going to try a new RTG. <laughs> I've started a new account, lads, and I've started grinding a little bit on that account. Just just a little bit. Just grinding out some, some objective cards and stuff like that. And I feel like after this episode, I feel like I'm going to move on to that new RTG and try and grind over there. If there are any, like, cards that get released that I obviously can't afford on that new account, then I will just come back over to this account uh, and do it. Like, you know, let's say a... I don't know. Let's say... Um, Prime moments for Ron got a prime prime moments for Ron. Let's just say that happened. Uh, EA released that for some weird reason. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to get that on this new account, so I would come over to this account and and review that card. So if there are any cards that I would like to review, I will come back to this account. But I feel like after today, I'm going to be focusing on a new RTG that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. Uh, and again, it'll keep me excited for, until until FIFA 21. On top of that, I might sprinkle in a few Pez episodes uh, here and there, just every now and again, just to just to make things spicy. So I feel like they're the two things that we're going to be doing until FIFA 21. Because at the end of the day, lads, as much as I am enjoying the Summer Heat promo, they're releasing some really good cards. Every time a card comes out, I feel like they're kind of pointless for me a lot of the time. Uh, let's take Mbabu, for example. Fantastic right back that I will literally never use. So grinding him out really doesn't matter. However, on a new account, Mbabu... You know, that sounds pretty spicy. This Bruno Fernandes is a perfect example. A fantastic card that I've literally used six times. I've played six games with this incredible card that I absolutely loved. But I just won't use it because he's not getting in this team. He's not better than any of these players, in my opinion. It just makes sense to me to start a new RTG. So that's what I will be doing. Uh, will we'll be after this episode, actually. So, uh, yeah. Look forward to that, boys. Look forward to that. But anyway, lads, the focus of today will be Prime Bootra. Uh, I don't think we're going to waste any more time. Going to jump straight into a little bit of gameplay with this Bootra. Let's see what he can, what what fire he's going to be packing. I <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be this is probably gonna be the cheekiest episode of this RTG so far, you know? King Kubo, Veron, Booch. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fucking nutty. So let's just jump into game number one. Oh. Nice. Oh, Booch with a source for Ron on the far side. Great finish on the weak side for Veron. Even in the Booch epi, Veron just, he can't just let Booch have his limelight. He just won't allow it. He has to get in on the action. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm what not having God? this. What's no, 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 no. Shit. Oh, fuck off. No! No! Oh, that's poor. That, this is what I'm talking. He's offside. God, Courtois just pisses me off, man. Like that, he should not be parrying that straight at Benzema. Kubo. Oh, over the top, over the top. Brilliant play. Butcher, what a touch. All right, we know he's gonna bury it. We already know it. Why are you so? No. Good, Carver Howe. He's so solid, Carver Howe. Really solid. And again and again, Butcher. He's fully on side here. Has he got the finish? That is the question. Oh boy, has he got the finish on the weak foot. Beautiful goal, lads. And he's had it. He's had enough. He's had enough of the dicking that Butra and Veron was giving him. This is getting weird, bro. So yeah, that's a pretty short game, to be honest. But as you guys saw, like, Butra just is good as ever. He did feel, I will say this, he felt so much faster. Like, he, he was blisteringly quick there. And I feel like, I don't know what it is with the baby Butra. He just doesn't quite have the same pace that he used to back in, you know, back in the earlier stages of FIFA. This card, pace-wise, felt like a team of season. Like, he was he was so quick on that attack. He was just straight through. Beautiful stuff. So, yeah, that's a good start so far. Uh, hopefully more of the same. So, let's jump into game number two. Good pass, that. Oh. Oh, for Ron. The touch. Get off me, boy. Play Kubo, play Kubo. Kubo, finish. Oh, lads, lads, lads. Like, it actually is the goat. This is the goatiest episode. We've got Kubo scoring beautiful goals. We've got Veron scoring. We've got Prime Butcher scoring. What a finish from Kubo, man. Like, I actually. I, I fucking. Don't quit. No, no, no. Come on. I know the team's good, but you need to chill. Don't quit yet. Calm. Calmly resume the game. Pass. Veron. And back. 
Two by round two. Oh my god, pick that out. What a goddamn Kubo. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Let Butcher score some. No, 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 no. Don't quit yet. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. This team is too fire. People are just quitting left and right. Okay, lads. Um, not much to say on Butcher because I don't even think he touched the ball. Maybe he touched it. But how many touches? What, let me have a look. Um, no shots. No passes. Zero out of two dribbles. That's not good. Uh, that's it. That's all we did. So yeah, not nothing to say on Boudreau. Um, if you wanted a Kubo review, although he's not out anymore, there you go. Kubo is a fucking go. So let's uh, let's jump into game number three. What the fuck? What the fuck did it? Kubo, play inside. Play inside. Back to him. That was. That was meant for Kubo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Butcher, that footwork is absolutely ridiculously good. I, I literally was meant to play it to Kubo, but because it went to Butcher, I needed to do some crazy dribbling there. Uh, and he somehow kept the ball there and just slotted it away. That is absolutely disgusting. Good play this. Right, long shot time. Law! That was a cracking effort. That's one of the only things I'm not a massive fan of the baby card, is his long shots. And this card is like five more long shots. How are we saving that? That's ridiculous. Lads, I've just, it's just hit me. It's just hit me. I've missed not one, but two clean sheet dances. Two. How did I miss two clean sheets? You fraud. What are you doing? I've got to do a triple dance after this. If I get this clean sheet, I, I shouldn't speak to, I don't know why I'm speaking too soon there. Huh? I've only kept two, Mitchell. It's going to be a double at least. In fact, I'm doing it now. I'm fucking, how do I forget two clean sheets? How? How is that possible? <laughs> Really? No, no, that's bullshit. That's straight bullshit, man. I fucking tackled him. Just ricochets off like it always does. Nice. Play. Please be on. Fuck, dude. I thought we finally broke him down. I've been struggling to break this guy down so bad. Oh. Oh. No, Booch. That's, that was not okay. That was shit. Please don't let him score this match out tackled again for fuck's sake can we get one i've got 90 plus standing tackle on like almost every fucking player on the pitch come on brilliant what a touch that's why kubo why did you take so long for that pass butcher is in the acres fuck someone Fuck a tit! Fuck a tit hard! Don't blow, don't blow, don't blow, don't blow. No, oh, you fuck! Why was that guy- Like, I wanna see these stats, I wanna see these stats. I'm not okay with these stats. This guy did nothing all game. He did nothing all game. One shot! One shot! With 57% possession! What are you doing with your life? Why- Why are you playing? Why are you playing? Why are you playing? Why are you playing FIFA if you're not gonna do anything? If you're just gonna- This guy has like- he has like four or five five-star skillers in his fucking team. He has several skillers in his team, and he was so boring, it's disgusting. Take a breath, try and calm down. So, lads, I was going to end it on this game, providing that we had a good game and everything, but, uh, yeah, it didn't really go to plan. Started really well. Started really well. Butcher scoring a, a great goal, and, yeah, life was looking good. And then, for some reason, I just could not attack this guy. He just gave me nothing to work with, defended... He defended well, give him credit there, he just did nothing attackingly. Uh, just, just held possession and did fuck all with it. So I will jump into one more game because I want today to be a very cheeky day, alright? I want this video to be the epitome of cheekiness. And right now, we got some solid cheeky going, but we need another high level cheeky game to elevate it to the high highest levels of cheeky. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. So let's, let's jump into game number... Four, I think. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, Boutra, the touch! This game needs to fuck off. Why do they do that? Why do they get so close to the goal and then just fucking elephant touch? <laughs> Cyprian, that's lovely work. King Kubo. Kubo with the dribbles, the techers and the finish. This has been a bit of a Kubo epi. Booch has been fucking good, of course, but Kubo has been really good. Oh, Renato. That's brilliant. Griezmann! Quality finishes all around here, boys. Quality finishing. Nice. 
I need Petra. It's just dirty. It. Why? Why are we post magneting? Why? 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 Petra. There we go. No fucking post magnets this time, boys. Great goal. Oh yes. Kubo, he's, he's a yard away from you. Just, I've aimed it at Kubo. Don't score. No, no, no not having that! Just, just pass it to Kubo. He's right there! He's literally next to him! Nice. Play. Good. It's got to be here, boys. We've got to end this little comeback of his right now. Boutre at the back. Post! With some fantastic positioning. Come on, boys. No, no, come. I'm not slipping. Nah. -uh. Four goal dance as well. Secured. Smell it. Mm. That'll do you, yeah. That'll do you. What a good dub. I honestly thought at 3 2 we were going to bottle it, but we managed to get a nice goal with Butra at the back post with some phenomenal finishing. Uh, not finishing. Positioning, sorry. And uh, yeah, that, that saved us. That fucking saved us. We would have. That would have been a nightmare. One of these days, like, I, I fear like my, my dad or my brother's going to walk in and see me doing this shit and thinking, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? So overall, lads, a fantastic performance from Beach Aguino. I think he got himself two goals. He did. Very nice performance. Did he get any assists? He didn't get any assists, but he, he had a great game. And he, again, like I was saying, he absolutely saved us with that clutch finish at the back post uh, to, to secure the dub. So let's just quickly talk about Prime Butra and, and compare him to the baby version. Because obviously the baby version I've used 1,500 times. This card I've used four times. So I'll try to compare them as best as I can. Pace-wise, undoubtedly so. Butra Guaino's Prime feels so much quicker over the baby card. Even with a Hunter card on the baby card, this card just feels quicker. And I, I feel like uh, the thing is, I think I've said this before with Chem Styles. I I feel like it does have an effect because I've played with cards that have basic and they do feel shitter than when I put the chem style one, but they definitely don't have the same effect as what they say. Like if I put a card with 85 finishing and put a sniper on it, they don't feel nowhere near as good as a card with 99 finishing just on the card alone, if that makes sense. So I feel like with chem styles, they don't have the same effect. And the only reason I'm saying this is because obviously with this prime Butra, if you put the right chem style on the baby Butra, he's pretty much as good as the prime Butra. But for me, this card just feels better. You know, finishing feels fantastic. Although I did really like the finishing on the baby card. The long shots, although I didn't score any, he, they just feel. They feel like if I hit enough of these long shots, they're gonna go in. Those finesse long shots are definitely gonna go in more often than with the baby card. And just overall, it's just a general improvement. He just feels better. He doesn't feel drastically better. And if you do already have the baby card and you're thinking, shall I get the prime? Uh, and you're not too sure, and you're like, oh, shall I spend my coins other ways? You probably should spend your coins in other ways. But th this card is definitely an improvement. It's just. It's not a crazy improvement. It's a very solid improvement and he does feel very good. But anyway, let's have welcome to things. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace.